What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we've got another Dumont fragrance sent over by the good folks at Perfume Box. I'll have them linked down below with the discount code. If you're interested in checking out anything from Dumont, they are an official distributor, but they also have other things, other Middle Eastern fragrances, your Latafas and Paris Corners and Afnans and all these different brands, as well as designer and niche fragrances at competitive prices. So definitely check them out. Now, just because they sent this fragrance over doesn't mean it's going to sway what I think because honestly I've had to do some indoor testing because it's just too heavy and dark to wear outdoors in this high humidity heat. It's definitely going to be much better for the colder weather. We are talking about in the Ramon Blazar line. This is my Teen Noir number four from Dumont and uh, I've got some interesting thoughts on this one. So stay tuned. So one thing I do have to point out that's a little different is they have this brushed nickel looking metal stick on plate versus the um, kind of vinyl stickers that they typically put on there. It still has that hefty cylinder style bottle. Cap holds really well, even though it doesn't click. And they do have a good atomizer, which I won't spray because it's just going to, I mean, you'll see it goes just because the ceiling fan. But the reason I couldn't wear this one is so heavy and dark and it's an incense fragrance. And you would think, well, Ross, I thought you loved incense. I do. I think it smells great. It's just too heavy. Some of the sweeter ones have been easier to get away with testing and wearing outdoors during the summer because I got some really sweet stuff I've been testing. But this is just too dark, rich, and heavy. So this is based around guyac wood, incense, saffron, oud, oak moss, just darker, richer, earthy, heavy, animalic notes, spices. All those things I listed, you get a little bit of all of them. You get spice, you get smoke, you get dark. You get a touch of funk, but it's not like a super funky oud, but there is a little bit of this animalic funk to it. Um, I don't think it's all that much of a challenge. I think it's a relatively approachable oud incense type of fragrance. There's no real heavy sweetness here. Um, there's a touch of like this fruity smell that I can't attribute to anything outside of that. I don't really get much sweetness. But it's not overdone with clove, because I know when you see clove in that note breakdown, some people don't like clove. I don't find it's overwhelmingly clove heavy, but you do get that kind of dark spice that that's probably attributing to a little bit of that funk with the oud. Um, I, I like the way clove comes across in a fragrance, and I think it's kind of muted a bit here. It's not an overwhelmingly strong note. It's detectable, but not a main featured note, if you will. So across the board, if you like dark, smoky, rich, and animalic and woody, all these different things, there's a leathery facet to it because you got saffron and labdanum. Definitely add a little bit of this like a smoother leather. It's not really rough and tumble. Uh, so again, not overly animalic, though when you see the notes, you probably think it's a very animalic fragrance. I would rank that as maybe the fifth most prominent accord. There is a little, it's a little animalic but it's not overdone. Again, I don't think it to be a super challenging fragrance. I think for what it is with this style, it's actually a pretty approachable um, type of fragrance to ease into to see if you're interested in these types of profiles. So I think it smells really good, just not in season right now for me. But when the winter you know, rolls around, yeah, it's gonna get in the rotation. Now, as far as performance, eight plus hours, easy easy it's a heavier fragrance projection is stout on the moderate to heavy side for every bit of two plus hours i would say in the two to three hour range this is a strong fragrance again it goes back to how it's just way too much for this high humidity heat that i'm experiencing right now same thing with the siage falls into moderate this is like i'll probably only want to put this in the rotation when winter rolls around because with the heaviness of the profile and the way the performance is like fall still has some pretty warm days over here in the panhandle of Florida. So it's just going to be pretty much a winter only kind of fragrance for me because winter at best is like 30 to 40 degrees, but it's a, it's a wet cold. So it kind of grabs your bones. It feels like what a dry cold at 10 degrees would be when it's 30 degrees here. So don't let it fool you. It's still really cold at 30 degrees here, but yeah, across the board, this stuff's a beast. It's just, again, I say again, too much for my current conditions. Uh, but when winter rolls around, boy, this stuff is gonna knife through that cold like a hot butter knife through butter. Final thoughts on Ramon Blazar Matier Noir number no. four from Dumont Matien, I believe. That's how you say it, Matien Noir. Um, it smells great, it's just 
not the right time for me to wear it, but I still wanted to test it. I still wanted to get this review out. It's still relevant the way it smells and the way it performs. It's just not ideal, not even close to ideal for the current climate. Um, but with that said, I think even when the cold runs around, it's not something that I'm going to want to rock every single day. This is a more evening appropriate type of profile because it's heavy. It's got this mysterious tone to it. It's got some animalics. It's not something you're going to want to wear to work, depending on where you work, obviously. But most people, I would say, in most work settings, this isn't the most appropriate option. Uh, so it gets an 8 out of 10 great. It is a great fragrance. Um, it's a much more situational fragrance, though, because of how it's built and structured. But it is really freaking nice. I got to say, it has that something special to it. It's a very impressive fragrance that's not going to be for everyone. But if you put it in the right setting, man, the beauty can unfold. I truly believe that with this one. Eight out of ten. Well, that's my thoughts and feelings on Matien Noir number four. Matien. I'm pretty confident I'm saying that right. In the Ramon Blazar line from Dumont. Thank you, Dumont not Dumont, thank you Perfume Box for sending this my way, so I was able to review another Dumont fragrance for you guys watching right now, it's been great to explore the house, I gotta say Dumont's got a lot of good stuff, they got some, you know you know, very good stuff, but they got some great and outstanding stuff as well some that really stand above a lot of the other offerings, and I wouldn't put this above a lot of the other offerings but I mean it's definitely not a basic fragrance it's just very situational cooler weather slightly more dressy occasions because it's it's one of those types of profiles and until next time i will say if you get your hands on this and you give it a spray now you never know you might end up thanking me later but i appreciate you watching nonetheless have a good one